this is what I have for you guys today here it's a LEV 60F lithium ion phosphate batteries from battery hookup so I have 16 of them here lined up in a series configuration you can see from here it's a negative to positive and all the way we end up with positive gonna be positive gonna be here negative right here this is where we're gonna be drawing the power and I decided to incorporate it uh, incorporate a board a PCB this is from Jake 35 from California and you guys have seen Jaru and they custom made this board this is a, a, a copper board it's already set up for 48 volt system at 74 amp hours which these cells each of them is 74 amp hours and you can see it's also incorporated here with um, if you want to use uh, a balancer you can use um, a BMS they're all incorporated here you can see all the lines and the bus bar is set up in the bus bar it's a 55.00 millimeter and this space you're gonna be seeing here is for the vent it's gonna be these guys here that looks like a vent right here it's gonna be sitting okay over here and we have all the connections this is where we're gonna be drawing the positive negative right here okay that's our positive negative terminal is gonna be everything is already done for you I found this thing fascinated so I decided to go with that deal and this one only runs about I think it's a hundred and twenty nine dollars so I'll put on a link on the description below for the affiliate and you see there's a diagram how everything is set up okay and this is for it can handle up to about I think 600 continuous at 1200 it can handle that and I decided to show you but well, what we're gonna do now we're gonna flip this guy around so you can see the back this is how the PCB is built you can see the series right here and the positive gonna be a negative you see all the connection for the BMS or balancers how they work in conjunction to the design these are all bus bars built in into this system and what we're gonna do we're gonna take this guy we have it in this position because we're gonna be having positive negative on these two uh, terminals so we're gonna drop this guy right here simple as that and we already have a 48 volt battery bank right there this is designed for people with audio computation with their cars stereos or 12 volt system that can pull a lot of amps but I have more of this I already make some videos check out those videos on the link below so I have the uh, nuts here for 16 batteries and it came with these bus bars so here are the bus bars you know flexible ones I think this one's gonna be the end for the positive and negative okay I'll be going right here see the cut it has a cut on the side cut is back so you can have a proper contact with this guy here so you put it 
and you put this one back here so we already have the setup okay and each of these guys is gonna go into the series configuration so you see it says Jake 35 right here I hope you can see it, it says Jake 35 is uh, I think it's a three or uh, 4.3.8 or 43.8 millimeter so you started going this way I think okay this is a bummer because it seems like this bus bar okay I think I grabbed the wrong one let's see let's try this again there you go we have one in I want to make sure the writing all faced we have another one we have another one this is really cool I like this I like this a lot there's another one And uh, is another one gonna be right here? There'll be another one right here. It's another one here. We're completing the. We're going to the 48 volt setup here, pretty quick. We have another one right here. So the first one I was trying this one. So this is a short one. This is the 43.8 millimeter. So it's gonna go on the back here. See that series the second string, and we're gonna go back here. Set up this one, that one. And um, we're gonna have this one here. No arc that's happening, that means we're doing good. And we have one, two more to go this way. And we have the last one, last one, no spark. So that means we already have all the boss bus inserted. See and uh this is pretty awesome pretty awesome sorry there's a reflection on the camera right there screenshot so we have all our connections right here you see the little tiny lines that gives you the um the connection for the bms or for the it has a little screws here, okay, a little Phillips. You can loosen this and just hook up all your wires on this. So because of these, we can put the big guys here and tie this guy down. Okay. Use this as a positive negative. And we're gonna use it on the back as well here where the series after it every eight pack there is one connection so it's gonna be right here so this indicates where the positive negative for the battery bank and this is where the series came to make the 16 batteries I use a different nuts and uh, here now we're gonna start going using these guys right here while we set up we do all the setup here stay tuned all right so we're gonna start using this guy i have a lot of them here you know you can use i uh, probably can use um, uh, a lock washer if you have one 
But I think I will do this. I'm not just going to tie this thing really hard. I don't know what the specs are. The talk specification. So, stay tuned while I insert all this stuff. I don't want you to be, be waiting for me for too long. I have more of these to put in. Like and subscribe. JW Solar USA live from Minnesota. You can get the, the, the cells from battery hookup. You can get the board from Jake35 online that you can buy it on his website. Okay, guys, I just realized something here. I was going to make sure all these ones facing the 55.00 millimeter, but these things are designed in a cut. So if you have like this on the battery right here, see that cut? So you can just um, fit it right there. See that? It matches the cut right there. So everything sits well. See? So I'm going to start flipping the other ones. That This ones I got right. I got right. This ones I got to flip them. So just as the, the cut's already there, like here. So I have to move this guy around spin around so I just wanted everything to face you know I face everything you know the writing is able to read them but that's not the case here see that see the cuts right there so I'm gonna drop it right there see how it flushes right there it works well just a food for thought I think the purpose of um, why they put this they create this thing like this so this one can flush it can slide forward at all it jammed all the way on this corner and if these have to move like you move trying to move the one old bank and it's not going to shift like this boss is going to go out of position so it, it hits right there see that so it doesn't go further at all okay guys we already have all the panel or the PCB already installed and um, just a hand tight and we have the voltmeter the Fluke 101 on the DC volts with the little dots on top of the one line solid the three dots on the bottom that's a DC here is a negative terminal and here is the positive on the other side here so what we're gonna do we're gonna touch touch the meter the probes to the terminals there you go it's exactly 48 volts 48.34 so this batteries need to be charged right now I can call this battery is empty depleted zero Okay, I'll call this a real 48 volt right here. JW Solar USA, thanks for watching. And um, on the next video, I will tell you how to get back to the BMS here. You can set them if you want to use the BMS or balancers. So you got to have the negative, the B minus. See the B minus right here. Cable. You can see B minus, let me focus, B minus all the way to 16, C16, charging 16, then you can have the B cable right here, this is the, the B plus where you can able to see the little wire comes here, you can put a big one right here for the BMS, and you can have the P Miners that goes to the BMS if I said it right that goes to um, the charging part so everything works it's interesting and I have changed I have changed what I was gonna do, like this ones are now facing the other side, you see the number the 55, so it latches to this notch right here. 
they are designed for a reason so i just have to you know i didn't see it anywhere i didn't watch any video it's just i was just following the pcb board how it is designed and uh i just get into it okay the latch in there and i, I just see it, it makes sense all those cuts are there for a reason thanks for watching like and subscribe jw solar usa live from command center in minnesota thanks for the 12,000 subscribers we made it to the 12,000 subscribers. I was going to make a video, but I was so busy with family. And um, I want to thank you all for everything you've done for me. And uh, we're bringing more in, um, input to the community. And let's keep helping each other. And this is how I have done it. You might probably have another way of doing it. Well, I want to see what you have done with this PCB board. And get your 48 volt battery. I'm gonna be having two of these. I have the, 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 the cells. I do have the cells. So this is 48, you know, is a 16 here, and it's gonna be another 16 or 32. I have exactly 32 um, cells to make two modules. Right? That gives us a 72, 74 times, <clears throat> 74 times uh, two. That gives us a uh, one, 148, so 148 lithium back amp hour battery. Like and share. Thanks for watching. Love you guys all. Stay tuned. Happy Easter.